Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and if you're new around here, we do a lot of beauty and makeup related content. Mainly makeup tutorials, which is what you're about to watch. So today's video is all about the Rose Romance 12 Shade Eyeshadow Palette from Designer Brands. I showed this in one of my hauls. I'm not sure whether that's up or not. You'll see it in a haul. Um, <laughs> so these retail for $14.99. It is an Australian brand, I believe. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So um, you get 12 shades in this palette. Very warm, neutral vibes. Um, but there is some foils and there is a glitter, which I did wear for one of the tutorials. And I did take some footage after nine hours of wear just to see uh, what it would look like at the end of the day. And I'm not going to lie, she creased but not the worst kind of creasing that I have ever had. So um, you'll get to see that footage as well. So this is the palette that we're gonna use. We're gonna do three makeup tutorials with it today. This is one of them. I really enjoyed working with this palette. It's quite um, a, a tester for my brain because they're so neutral um, with pops of colors and I'm quite surprised. So before we get into the, tor to the tutorials, I'm going to do some swatches for you so you can see all the shades um, and then we'll get into it. So I am going to put my glasses on for this um, clip just so I can read <laughs> what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go down the palette. So this top one here is called Fresh. The next one is called Courtship. Then we have Attraction. And then the last one is called Feelings. So that is just rubbing my fingers in the pan and obviously you just saw there were one swatch. I was so shocked at the actual pigmentation. There's quite a bit of kickback in the pan, but quite frankly, I just picked that up with my brush. So kickback for me isn't an issue, it may be for you, but that is the first row going down. So we're going through the middle row downwards. So the top one is called Emotions. Bit of a ball there in that one. I don't know if you saw that, but it was like a ball of powder. Um, the next one is called Budding Romance, and this is the foil in the palette. It's almost like a duochrome pink and gold. It's really pretty. It's what I have on my lid today. Um, then we go down to Be Mine, and it again has balling. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm just going to rub that out. Um, and then the bottom one of that is called Forever, and it's a dark brown in this palette, and it is amazing. It is matte, and it is so pigmented, blends out just so nicely. So this is the middle row going down. Um, so I have glitter all over my arms now, I do apologize. <laughs> so on the last row going down, we have First Date. Then we have Bouquet. And this shade was what sold the palette to me. It is the glitter. And I believe it is a cream glitter shadow. And it is literal glitter. Um, so it's called Petals. And then the final one is a deep plum and it's called Love. And I would have to say out of the whole palette, plum is my favorite shade. I mean, I love petals because I love glitter. I'm a glitter person, but I have this thing for plums and burgundies at the moment. Um, and this is a plum and in the pan, it has a, a duo glitter. So I believe, this is my opinion, the plum is either a satin or a matte and it has a light bluey purple glitter in it. Unfortunately, that doesn't transfer on the eyes. It just turns into a matte, but how vibrant is that? I'm so stoked with this palette. Very much worth the $14.99. So with that said, all the swatches are done. So let's go ahead and get on with the next three tutorials. So starting off look one, I'm taking my um, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I use this basically every single day. I'm wondering if you guys have any recommendations for a primer that is, or even a concealer that is similar to this if you have used the Too Faced Concealer as a primer. Please leave me a comment. Um, so I'm starting off with Attraction. And this is the brown, one of the matte browns in the palette. And I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and pressing that into my crease area. So I'm just doing my normal trick of packing on, making sure that every part 
of the eyelid where I want that color has that color packed onto it and then swapping brushes and then blending it out and I will pack on blend out pack on blend out many times um, until I have my blend that I like Next, going in with the shade Feelings, I'm taking this on a flat brush and packing that on the most part of my lid. Um, it's a really, really nice matte pink um, and I'm taking that from the outer corner and leaving the inner corner free. Then I'm going in with the shade Courtship and I'm packing that on the inner corner and I will tap that over the edge of the pink and the brown um, as my inner corner highlight. I'm just going to go back in with my blending brush and just make sure that everything is blended and connected. And then for my highlight, I'm taking the shade Fresh. And I've switched brushes because this is super shimmery. So I'm only popping that at the highest point of my brow um, for the most intense color payoff and then blending that down. I'm also taking that Fresh shade on the innermost part of my inner corner as that highlight. Today I'm using my uh, black face paint as my eyeliner and an artist brush to apply it and I'm just creating a nice soft wing. Then for mascara I'm taking the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean and popping that top and bottom. For the rest of my face, I'm going in with Designer Brands um, palette here and I'm taking the shade Rose as my highlight today. Then for lips, I decided to go all out and use this bright pink lippy from um, OXX Cosmetics in the shade Sweetie. Really, really cute. I love it. And that completes look one for this tutorial. Starting off look two, I'm taking my Too Faced concealer as normal and just tapping that all over the lid and then blending it out with a Real Technique setting brush. First off, I'm going in with a First Date and with this shade, I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and packing it in the outer third of my crease mainly and then starting to soften it out um, after I start building up that um, pigment. So I will go in and pack it on and blend it out many times so I have a nice soft blend. Next up I'm taking this shade called Love and it is the plum shade in the palette that has the blue glitter reflex that unfortunately doesn't show when you do apply it to the eye and start blending it but I've just used a really precise brush to pack it on exactly where I want it and then I've gone back in with the blending brush that I used to apply our transition shade and I will use it to start buffing out those edges and really blowing it out so it's super soft, super blended. To help with the blending process, I'm taking this translucent face powder. You could just use your normal um, colored foundation powder or you could go in with a shade that is your skin tone or lighter to help with this process.
Once I've blended everything out, I will go back in with a bit more of that plum shade to bring back the intensity of the plum and just to help make sure that everything is blended. Um, and then I'm moving on to a flat brush with that same plum shade and I'm packing it on the inner half of my, sorry, the outer half of my eyelid. Um, really, really packing it on and again blending it out so it keeps its intensity but has a really beautiful smoked out um, outer corner. Now I'm going in with this shade called Petals and I believe this is a cream shadow. I haven't seen any other cream shadows from Designer Brand so I'm not sure if this is a one-off formula or they have nailed it. I'm not quite sure. But what I will say is that it went on pretty well and it lasted throughout the whole day but there was creasing. So I'm just going to insert a little clip here of it, um, how it was after nine hours of wear. To finish off the face, I'm going in with the NARS um, Summer Unrated Face Palette and using the shades Casino and Orgasm X to bronze and blush my cheeks. Then for highlighter, I'm taking this Mineral Face Illuminator from NATO. It is absolutely stunning and one of my favorite highlighters of all time and I'm using it just on my cheekbones. So that completes look two for this palette. For the final look, I'm using my Too Faced concealer again and I'm just tapping that on the lid and blending it out with a Real Technique setting brush. To start off this look, I'm taking the brown shade called Forever and I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and going straight into the crease. For this look, I am bringing it all the way in to the inner corner around where my nose begins and really buffing that out. And then I'm taking that orange shade and I'm using it to buff out the edges to bring a bit of warmth back into the look. The first shade didn't um, translate as warm as I thought it would on the lid. So I'm just taking my concealer again and just tapping a little bit on, the, on my lid and then looking up to see where my mobile lid touches my crease area so that I can see where I can begin my cut crease. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking just a smaller brush and um, tapping out that color, sorry, that concealer so that there's not a lot on there and it um, softens it up a bit. Then taking that foil shade um, tapping that through the middle of the lid and then taking courtship on the inner and outer corner just gives a little bit of that dimension although you could skip the step and pick either or uh, there wasn't too much difference between the two but I just thought it looked nice then I'm going in with fresh just a tiny little bit on the center of the lid to give that 3d effect and then going back in with that brown on a defining pencil brush i'm just connecting the outer corner where there's no shimmer back to the lid and then taking be mine on a smaller blending brush under the lower lash line just for a little bit of color i guess normally people translate the same techniques on the bottom as they do on the top i just wanted to blend it out and then for the inner corner i took the shade fresh and really brightens it up and then for my eyeliner I've gone back into my trusty black face paint on a Real Techniques lining brush and I've just created a nice wing um, normally I would use tape but sometimes we live on the edge around here and we don't use tape and we um, we risk it <laughs> then I've got some mascara from covergirl it's a lash blast clean top and bottom for the face today, I used the NARS Pleasure Trio um, and it's one of my favorite palettes to take away. It's really nice, has a uh, bronzer, blusher and highlight. So I've just applied those three products to my face to bronze, blush and highlight.
The highlight though didn't have enough of a kick for me so I did go back into the NATO highlighter just to finish off the look. And for the lips, I'm taking Misbehave Lip Liner from Australis just to line and fill in my lips for a bit of a base. And then I've gone in with a lipstick from um, Astralis. So it is a liquid lip and I've just gone in and filled my whole lips in with that and that completes the look. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed these three makeup tutorials. I want to apologize because in my previous videos I haven't done the swatches and I think I'm going to just add them in before I do the tutorials instead of doing separate videos or just not doing it at all because I do think we need to see swatches. I'm a swatch person so I need to you know, do what I want to see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's been a long day. It's been a long night. I'm going to go take my makeup off and I'm going to go hop on the couch and eat some snacks and watch some YouTube or Netflix. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.